Hey everyone, TurboCop back for another TurboCop cast, and today we're going to be casting a Steel game on CP Steel. Now, uh, let me uh, go over the rosters real quick while I switch my mouse sensitivity. Yes, because the bond, I, the little uh, script I run changes it to 1, and I like it at 3. Anyway, let's go over the rosters real quick. We've got Corn Ducks over on the red side versus It's Raining Men over on the blue side here. That's men spelled with M-I-N-H over here. And yeah, let's go over the roster real quick. Halkyon is the scout, gonna be sitting around back. Momo is the soldier, uh, is the soldier. Hexy is the pyro out here. Mean advantage, yeah. Hashtag mean advantage. Donald, uh, gonna be playing that demo only. Wow, he's a totally no look for him demo. Just gonna be playing demo uh, with a scent, with a, a meat thing. Uh, what's that called? Uh, a ham leg? I think it's a ham leg. Anyway, velocity cube. Uh, as the, as the uh, heavy car as the engineer general teddy as the medic z cool z cool get son of a bitch by the sniper let's see what he can do out here now there's a spy hanging out but he doesn't know about that at all looking for somebody but i don't think he might not find it here let's watch over the top here donald gonna be able to shoot over the top uh they're gonna back out of here medic nowhere near and uh sniper instead gonna be trying for shots spy on the backside. oh almost got caught out there too bad and uh, yeah, the hold is happening right now on A, which is kind of good for the for the defense out here. Anyway, cool is the... Oh, they're missing Vaughn. Vaughn is like not here. He could probably be doing some work right now if he was here. <laughs> Get your stuff together, bro. The scout is dead, but his name is... Uh... So that was everyone on new. This will be for the corn ducks now. The scout, uh, his name is dead at the moment. His name is Breakfast. Breakfast AT. And Tort is the soldier. Wags is the pyro. Oh, bro. Now the pyro is lagging out. We're probably having like latency issues now. Could have saved that guy, I know. He's gonna get stabbed. Now Vaughn, the guy who was out from before, gonna be showing up, playing, doing some plays. And uh, Pata is the demo man, still playing around while they still haven't captured yet. This is really, really bad. They need the A capture, like, right now. The Heavy is dead, but his name was, uh, Buttface was the engineer, but uh, Big R was the Heavy. Buttface is the engineer uh, for the defense side. Gotta get his stuff up if he wants to be less of a Buttface. Uh, yes is the medic. Scooter is the engineer. Scooter triangle, Illuminati triangle, trying to tell us something. And Vaughn makes another nice pick there with the scout. It's really, really nice. Spy is dead, but his name is Day Nine, Day Knife, Day Knife. I like that. Quack Zoo Day Knife. Anyway, we got the B push finally going down. It took them 70 seconds, which is kind of a long time for A. Uh, you don't always want to be playing with it. And on the backside, we can see Tort playing with Car. Uh, who, uh, oh, he's also going to get moved on by the scout here. Uh, don't worry, I'll jump back over to the demo man. And yeah, we got play plays going down heavy, looking far forward here. No, nope, he's going to back down. And Buttface going to have a sentry gun go up here. Now it looks like Velocity are cubed. Going to be able to watch out on the backside here. Oh, wow, they got General Taddy. That's huge. Six on uh, nine situation. Now Day Knife might go down. He does get uh, bled out here, but so does Big R getting a good angle there. And they got stop. Uh, they stopped a push. Good job, Corn Ducks, uh, moving forward here. I don't know the records for either team. I think they're evenies. I'm not sure either team is in playoffs. Oh man, Sniper makes a Sniper play on the top side of things. Uh, so that's really good. Sniper bench going the way. Oh, he hits a Medic. Nice shot there. If only it was a headshot. Now General Teddy has to sit back and get uh, health and things like that. I think that's a reference to Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Wasn't there a General Teddy in that game? He's already having to back out again. Just getting overextended on. Uh, only with his demo man here. Where's his heavy? Uh, went all the way around for some reason. Hexy getting stabbed out here. Uh, so that was the uh, Pyro. Wow. Getting a... Uh, Embarrassed by the spy out here. Vaughn not moving forward quite yet. Uh, Buttface is in position, and Donald trying to push down the side, but not going to be able to get anything. Wag actually playing some good uh, some good defense here. Just delaying as long as possible. And Kazuul can make a play here, but ooh, nice. Nice pipes over the top. They weren't uh, wrangling there, and they really should have been. Thrown down over the top. Tort comes from behind, gets a double kill. Oh no, he's on the other side, gets a double kill. Kazuul might be able to go forward here now that they've got a sentry gun down, and Donald is uh, trying to push over the side. He might be able to make something. Oh, pops come from both sides here, but it looks like red popped in first. Yeah, they're going to have like a 30% advantage coming forward. Velocity just deciding to run forward, get as much area as possible. He's going to get saved by his medic, and the teams bounce off each other, but nobody like really moving far forward. Vaughn trying to get in position, but he got stabbed out there, unfortunately. Momo going around the backside with the other two attackers. Uh, the scout got cleaned out, but Momo might be able to do something. No, big uh, Pata here will be able to stop everything. Scout on the other side as well. They're going to rotate over to C. Pata's really, really got to get there pretty quick. Uh, it's going to be up to Big R here to stop them as long as possible. He's probably going to die. I would just see the sandwich right now is by time, but no. Going to try and push it on people here. Oh, he's dead, dead, dead. Yeah, I would have just eaten the sandwich there because uh, I felt like you were probably dead anyway. But you could just spot yourself a bit of time there uh, for your team. Donald going to throw some sticks over the top. Trying to get it. 
Oh, throw one more. Just throw one more. Okay, he does blow it up. Uh, Buttface not able to get a full HP, or maybe it was three stickies. It looked like two. You always can guarantee a dead sentry gun with three stickies. That's not being mangled. And if you're getting sticky trapped like that, you should just wrangle. Uh, Kazel coming in, but uh, the enemy demo, uh, enemy uh, sniper getting cleaned out. Oh, it looks like we're going to have uh, some stick traps here. Let's watch the stick trap play on the backside, and it does get Halcron, so... Oh, we got Pyro's place going down. Oh, he can really make this happen. Nice reflect into that demo man, and it forces a pop out for them. So that's a pretty big advantage. Uh, they're going to pop the whole Uber here through the hallway. Now, they probably should have wanted to pop it through here anyway. Um, but now they're kind of stuck. Look at this, the the medic and heavy. Oh, this medic's super, super lit right now. Let's get on the medic cam. Medic cam is totally safe for the moment. Uh, looks like he got a health pack, and yeah, he's going to be just fine. I lost sound. I don't hear anything at the moment. Uh... Shoots, yeah, there's no sound. I'm gonna be right back uh, fixing the sound. Okay, we're back with sound. It might be a little softer than you're used to, uh, but you can definitely hear me for sure. That's the important thing here. I can barely hear it, uh, but I just because I turned my headset down real, real low. Momo playing on the backside. Oh, that is sad. That's too bad, Momo. That was a nice try to jump. Uh, there was something in the way, though. Velocity crew bar gonna go over the front, and uh, yeah. This is the second time I've had a, a, a sound mistake, so I must have some crazy uh, situation uh, set up on my binds here that's causing things to uh, go, like, to reduce the sound. I'll figure out what that is. I think it's page up and page down. Yeah, it is. Yeah, look at that. It's page up and page down. So, there you go. I'd forgotten about that bind, and uh, I think I must have pressed it by accident. Anyway, back to the action here. Oh, they got a demo man. Nice pick. No, they didn't get the demo man. Donald's still alive. Donald's going to be able to go up here, get a sentry gun. Gets the engineer at least, but he's not going to get the sentry gun. That's a really, really unfortunate. Journal and Teddy really far forward here, but they're not making the pipe plays. And yeah, the pyro comes in. Nice defense here from the pyro. Got all three of them on fire, even though he took his life for it. And it's actually a five on nine, although they need people to get forward here. Oh, demo man just took a uh, double kill going forward. And yeah, they're going to spread out as much as possible, but the D uh, hasn't been capped yet, so it is going to be a tough E uh, push here. And the panda is going to try and go forward. Halcron. Gonna just play uh, on this E point here. Gonna keep a heavy here. Uh, velocity not even close yet. Who else is close? Stillman now here. Now he can really start putting some pressure down. You really want to try and put sticks where they're not gonna see him. Although this is probably about as good as you can get. Nice pipe right onto Tort immediately. Or stick right onto Tort immediately. Medic having to get out. Uh, Tort does get Halcron. And the sniper in the top, Zul, can really make a big play here. No, misses the shot there. But he's in a really good sniper spot. He's not getting contested. Uh, you can get this heavy. Oh, really, really close. Get oh, That was a headshot on Big R right there. Lost all of his uh, overheal. And they can definitely pick off this heavy here if he shows his face again. Now the sniper's here. Oh, he knows he's there. Oh, nice play around. Uh, now, fortunately, the sniper is totally suppressed. Domain taking him down. And uh, actually, they lose uh, G General Teddy. So, super uber advantage going uh, Quack's way. Uh, the, Scott, the ducks are back. Oh, the spy's coming in. Wow, nice pick there. I almost I hit the 8 button to see the sniper, and I I wanted to go to the spy. Uh, spy was there, though, and the heavy got sniped out. Pretty huge plays uh, from the assassin classes here. That's going to give them back the uber advantage that they so desperately, desperately need. They're still going for E, though. Now, they're back on the AD side of things. This is a really good place to push from when you want to take D. Uh, the problem is you just can't be seen uh, doing it. So you got to like keep them on their toes. And this is probably the best time to do it. Hexi uh, holding the one side. Well, heavy goes the other side. Now, they should know they're all here now. Uh, the rotation should be here, but I like the I like what Red's doing right now. Oh, double kill on Donald and Hexy. Going to be able to get this heavy. Nope, heavy going to live. Uh, Halcron running around the bottom side again. And uh, Wags trying to just look for people. And we just got a pause. Yeah, we just got a pause. So I'm going to be right back after the pause, and I'll be uh, seeing you then. All right, and we are back after that pause now. Uh, we were going to have... Oh, we can do HUD reload scheme, though just in case to get everything going and bang 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 and yeah there we are back to normal hud times looks like we have like a nice uh 50 advantage coming forward here for uh their medic play tf2 or right looks like teddy's dropped this is going to be their uh sub for them and they're going to go right for e they're going to try and push this down uh with some uh oh well you got to be a little bit more aggressive than that raffle copter i am a raffle copter is looks like another uh play out and the pyro throws them back oh this is really really good oh is this medic dead this medic's so dead Medic d dies out. They rotate around to D, uh, just trying to hold out E. And Buttface is here. Nice uh, sentry gun location. I think it's finally going to go down. No, it's not dead yet. Oh my god, Buttface has it saved. Saved uh, here, and now he's super spy vulnerable. The spy is nowhere in position. Uh, Day Knife instead. They pop actually on a backside here. I totally missed it. Day Knife. Uh, Yawn totally out. Vaughn totally out of position. Oh, he was. Uh, he I thought he was on DR, so I thought he was super dead. But he's on normal invis watch. He could get something out of this, and that could be really good for him. Seals the health pack and ammo. 
uh, it was a good pop through, but they, man, they rotated all the way to D. They didn't fully commit to E and just try and keep people back in their spawns. Instead, they went for the sentry gun and they, they just couldn't take it down. And the sentry gun background was enough. Oh, he goes to the pyro. Wow, Vaughn again, making a <laughs> making a mockery of those pyros up here. Engineer building a sentry gun on the backside too. This should help them uh, defend out a little bit here. Definitely. Oh, he lost a teleporter though. That's pretty huge. You definitely want a teleporter up uh, during the last points here just to keep times down. And there's a soldier on the back end. Oh, Halcon deals with it though. Fortunately, he didn't take a teleporter. Spy's also in the back end. I'm not sure they know he's there. Teleporter again gets taken down. Uh, Dayknife could make a big play here. Play TF2 or right. Now the medic sub with his uh, I am Rafflecopter. Wow, gets stabbed out. Good play there. Uh, trades out with I am uh, trades out with I am Rafflecopter. Definitely don't want to have this Uber go down and with a demo man up. Definitely not having a demo man is a huge uh, boon in like Uber situations where all the splash damage is huge. He's getting those cleanup splash damage kills. Really big. Halcon coming around the backside here. Oh. Oh, he's not going to win this fight. He's going to run for it. Scout doesn't chase. Oh, good for the scout, but he could have gotten the kill. <laughs> Breakfast at Epiphanies. Oh, that's what his name is. Breakfast at Epiphanies. Oh, he can get a... Don't let Halcon get away again. Oh, my God. Don't let... Oh, man. Halcon, again, getting a get out of jail free card. Also, this guy is running normal pistol. While Halcron running the uh, Pretty Boy Pocket Pistol. Generally the better choice, especially on steel. Where you're pretty much dead to pyros anyway. Oh, he's just gonna try and get the sentry gun. They oh, they finally get the sentry gun. They're on to D. Uh, well, who goes? Come on. The, oh no, it was breakfast out of Piffney's. Gets the medic pick. Some medic assassination play. Gonna throw out some milk. Okay, they're all milked and everything. I can't deal. Can't deal enough damage though. Just don't have the deeps. And Wags gonna try and run this down. Really gonna try and get velocity. Group. And they do. Scooter also here, but he gets taken out too. Pyro's getting the clean out. Uh, soldier, or no, Demo. Is he still alive? No, he, he got picked off by the scout. And wow, that's a pretty big wipe. There's only like two people up. Uh, yes, with, uh, okay, now they're finally getting their big spawn wave. But how are they going to do this? They're like splitting up, which is really, really bad. This medic went the wrong way, I think. And now he's all worried. And okay, so Tork could make the play happen for sure. Tork jumps over. Really good play there. Gonna tr oh, screws up the jump. Total screw up of a jump. And yeah, this is uh, now going to be really, really hard. Wags coming around the backside. Oh, he gets thrown in by the pyro. Uh, wow. Good play. We're just watching the back there. And I think this is going to be a very, very easy E cap after that extraneous D cap. Doman. Oh, Doman gets thrown back. Medic's still here. There's only the spy, though. I think that's it. The spy is dead. Tor comes in. Oh, Tor, if he didn't mess up that jump, they'd be on a really good spot right now. But as it is right now, they're actually in a decent spot as it is. So, 11.43, not the best time in the world. Poor Tort. Your jack o' lantern and your companion cube. Oh, sorry, it's a rump o' lantern. My apologies. And, uh, yeah, that's all we can see of you, buddy. That's too bad. Now, ah, here he comes. Uh, on the original now. No, he was on the original before. I'm not sure what he changed at all. Anyway, let's watch the engineer. Uh, what's he gonna build? Teleporter? Yeah. Teleporter coming down there. Good spot for teleporter, honestly. Uh, well, like, if you can, like, set it up at A and let people escape over here, it's kind of nice. Uh, sub subsequently, if you can like set it up here at A and drop a sentry gun at the last second, just try and like give them hell. I mean, that's something you can do at steel level for sure. This isn't like they're gonna be able to see a sentry gun and immediately kill it all the time. That's kind of a cool thing. Engineers, you got it good in steel in steel league for sure. Uh, it's very, it's a lot harder to take out a sentry gun in steel uh, when you're not fully there. Not everyone's like perfectly committed on the plan. So, like this here, since you're gonna be. But no one's going for it. Uh, looks like instead... Oh, we got Breakfast at Epiphany. He's getting sniped out by Kazul here. Nice first play. Uh, looking for the next one. You should know the snipers here. Sniper jumps through. Go, oh, just shoot. Just shoot for somebody. Oh, he got swags on a good on a good body shot there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Scooter. Scooter screws up there, and that's a double kill for Kazul. Uh, forcing them all back here. Oh, the demo man can make a big play. Velocity Croup does get uh, trapped out. Really, really good play there. Quick R now here. Oh, Pata almost getting taken down. And this should be the cap here for A, uh, despite the fact that Scooter got a nice little double kill. I mean, it's just not enough. The spawns are just way too much in Blue's favor. And yeah, that was a 20 second A cap there. So 50 second advantage going forward for them right now, for the, for the Corn Ducks. Corn Ducks, quack. Scooter on top here, this is weird. Uh, you generally don't see a sniper go this way super often. Engineer has been playing on this side the entire time and looks like the heavy demo are gonna go this way. Medic is with them as well. Right, who are they going to find? They do find Vaughn. Vaughn kind of uh, 
being caught out a little bit there, and uh, it looks like they're not going to commit. No, they do commit. They just don't want to get spammed down with the medic, and, Hi and Big R are going to get... No, he's okay. Oh, they pop through here. This is Ray. Really, probably didn't want to pop there. And they can't get the... Oh, they do get the, the medic to pop, so... A little bit of flashing going down on red side. Red's going to be able to get the pain going down any second now. Oh, look at all that, that pyro damage. It does pick off Wags. Uh, unfortunately, nobody else. They really need some heavy, heavy follow-up damage there to make it really worth it. Day knife. in the meantime, uh, sneaking around. He's on that Cloak and Dagger. He can sit as long as he needs to, so long as uh, Hexy doesn't quite pick him up. And Hexy is nowhere near him quite yet. He's doing a good job. He should probably just run all the way around the corner, but I guess he wants to keep up uh, some appearances of stuff. And uh, the Dome Man, oh man, Huegos spots them out. Gonna die for it. Oh wow, Pata. Oh, cool jump. Sweet jump. What a nice, he nice heads up play, Pata. That was huge. Huge play there. <laughs> He, I mean, they really need their demo man right now. They're gonna throw down sticks in the corner. Uh, they're gonna, tra they're gonna build up on E. They're gonna, oh no, they're not gonna get any time on E. They're gonna back down. Wags is here, but me advantage is ready. Who is this? This game's night. This game, this guy's name is Hexy. Actually, if he waited for them to come around the corner, that would have been good. Wagos, charging in, and Pata gets stabbed out. I think that might be the end of this push. Yes. Oh man, he's at only their 93. He's got to build up the rest of it. I think they want to play Uber and Uber. They want to play on the side all the time. And uh, Uegos, again, getting the nice uh, spam kills there. But face going down. Eight on nine. They're going to rotate all the way around. Vaughn sees all of it, though. This is really important for your spy to do. To be able to spot out every single thing that the uh, enemy uh, like combo is doing. Really, really important. And he did a good job there. Uh, looks like Calcron got sniped out by Scooter. That could be pretty big. Scooter way on the back end here. And it looks like the core are going to come over the top again. Pata... They could go with Ubers now, uh, whenever they're ready, and nice spam over the top. They lose Kzul, and Carr gets uh, killed out here. Oh, they pop Uber. It's a little bit too late, though. They lost their heavy, and the Pyro is here now to control them. There's a lot of flashing going now. They switch over to the Demo Man. Oh, they're going to leave Wags to dead. Nope. Now they have to get out of here. The, co the combo is coming forward. Demo Man, uh, Sentry Gun is here. This is a nice Sentry Gun. It's going to get them out of this position. He didn't even get to pick it up, but he was able to do some good damage, and they just they weren't able to focus fire enough to get one, uh, one of these key core classes here. And Carr and uh, the Sniper are uh, going to be right back up here. Kazool. Kazool looking for Snipe. Kazool looking for Head. Kazool no find Head yet, but he no heavy bait round corner. Kazool misses! Oh, man. I built you up so much, man. Uh, no shot there either. Wagos and actually both both soldiers are dead. And uh, looks like we got about a 5% advantage going forward here for uh, play TF2 or Riot. So this has actually been a good B defense for them. Uh... It was, a, it was definitely a commitment for the for the corn ducks to go around the east side, and it didn't work out for them. Uh, but that's okay. Now we got Tort spamming over the top. Day knife. Oh, he gets controlled out by Rafflecopter. Good job there by Rafflecopter getting the, the spam kill. And uh, they are going to get the sentry gun with a with a uber play on the back end. But this pyro doing huge work, throwing them all back. And now they have like time to build. They could. Oh man, he gets a snipe a headshot somewhere. But seven on seven. Uh, Pato's got to get it out of here. And the med is trying to keep him alive as long as possible. Will he get the shot? He does link back up with Pata, and uh, people just not enough people are dying right now. It's just a lot of uh, it's just a lot of shooting back and forth, and not enough not enough dying. No one's able to make the kills quite yet. The spy might make something. He's really aggressive. No, the sniper hears him. Come on, Kazul. Oh, Kazul gets completely wrecked by spy by uh, spy on the backside. And they should switch over. Uh, oh man, they're they're pretty they're surrounding pretty well. Oh, he knows they're coming. He wants the heavy. He wanted the medic, but now he wants the heavy, and oh, he can't get it. If he had just gotten one of those plays, they were totally distracted too by this spy and scout, uh, or scout and soldier. Soldier trying to play. Tord needs to jump away. He, oh, he might eight. No, he does get cleaned out. Pata does get the sentry gun though. So now they're finally enclosing on the B point here, and they will be able to capture it this time. Now that they're here, now that they can spam over the tiniest. This is the tiniest choke point uh, in CP Steel, by the way. I'm pretty sure. Or at least it's the one with like the most entrance ways. There's three here, and they all happen within like a meter of each other. A half meter of each other. I don't know the metric system, I'm sorry. You don't come here to hear me like lecture about the metric system, though. That's not why you're here. You're here to hear awesome steel casts on steel. That's why you're here today. Big R coming around the backside. They're going to rotate, and there's no one here. Good. Uh, the engagement at E was not really good for the red team there. Uh, definitely, they're like way out of position now. Rafflecopter coming. Going to get controlled out by the pyro, though. Uh, he's going to find Yawn, too. Nice. Or Vaughn. It's not Yawn. He's Vaughn. And nice, nice uh, crit uh, stick there. And this is going to be a very fast C cap. The question is, are they going to set up for D here? Looks like 
We have a teleporter? Where does the teleporter go? They're not willing to take the teleporter, so it's probably not worth it. Losing breakfast at Epiphanies, no scout for a while. Uh, no spy on the red side either, so 8 on 8. And they're going to rotate all the way over to E. Uh, Kazel looking for the snipe. He might find it. Scooter there. Oh, doesn't get it. Did the jump too. Scooter really not willing to go forward. He just wants to take his time up. And the Ubers are going down on both sides here. Wow, look at that nice uh, nice pyro play. Demo Man trying to get some good spam out there. And it's only, uh, it's actually, uh, who's dead? A lot of people are dead, but I don't see the, the death timers. It's like four or three that are dead now. And uh, unfortunately, the medic goes down with them. So real unfortunate there. Good, uh, good counter pop for sure. Five minutes to hold. This is a doable time. Uh, I, I still think this is anyone's uh, game at this point. Uh, what I think the Quacks need to do, maybe go with a sentry gun, but it's in a really good spot. Very nice defensive spot to hold out D and E. But the demo man can just keep spamming. Just keep throwing sticks over the top. You can even throw some uh, some pipes over the top there and uh, and get some big easy picks. Nice job by Kazel. Keep making that those uh, heavy uh, snipers, and you're gonna be okay. And Scooter gets taken down by Vaughn. Very easy pick for him on the sniper. Looking the AD connector out now, and uh, he will know. He will recognize uh, breakfast at Epiphanies, and uh, yeah, they should know that they're mainly over in the E side, with the scout on the A side. Oh, they're rotating all the way around. They really don't want to get caught. Oh, they got a teleporter here on the BC side as well. This is good. Now they're kind of giving it away with the sentry gun here. Buttface can move it up. Let's see what he does with the moved up sentry gun. He's going to drop it below, but that might not be good enough. You might need to rotate it all the way up to the side. No, he's going to keep it below. We're gonna see how much work this does. Halcron gonna get run in, gonna run into it immediately though, which is uh now he's spotted out for his team. Halcron not gonna be able to deal with it himself, but they should be able to kill it. They're all the red team's still all here in D side, and they popped Uber. Oh man, the Doman forced the pop, and yes, still has his. They're all rotating around. They could they can make this happen. They can make this happen with the heavy and the soldier. They're still playing around on this side, and you really this is so dangerous. You really really don't want to be here. They're rotating back through C again. They're really really wasting time here. What is Yes doing? We need to, they need to charge forward. They need to take their Uber advantage while they still have it. Uh, they don't necessarily need the Demo Man. It's really, really nice when you do. But I mean, still in a situation like this where they want to hold D really hard, and they're all stuck in this corner here, like this is like a small arena to engage in. Uh, Tort takes out Vaughn. Uh, unfortunately, gets thrown back for it, so they trade. Demo Man is here. The Demo Man plays. Rufflecopter has got it. Okay, they've got stuff stuck back here, and now they pop in. They easy medic pick for them there. They're going to keep Uber advantage going forward. Uh, Pyro tries to get, tries to throw out some damage. Gonna get caught. Demo man fell down. Gonna get caught. Uh, five for none there, or four for none there. And the medic gonna get back up. Demo man not, or heavy not gonna be able to do damage. Mean advantage as well. Probably gonna get taken down here. Now they're they're trying to come in. Sentry gun has not been dealt with yet. Uh, the engineer is not here. Oh wags. This sentry gun doing too much good work. Oh, it finally gets taken down by by the scout of all people. They're capping on E now. The sentry gun is up here now. This this is good. Buttface buying them lots of good time here, but they're kind of capping in two places at once. Where's the decap coming from? Uh, I guess it was the spy. Yeah, it was the spy. That was kind of a waste of... Oh, man. You probably didn't need to split his time like that, quite like that. Um, now, the nice thing is, wherever they go, they're probably going to get the cap, and getting the decap is really, really nice for, capturing, for capturing E. It doesn't guarantee you it, but it gets you pretty, pretty close. If you're even E's, then you probably should be able to get E. Scooter, unfortunately, does not get headshot. Only three, get, only three up for him. Vaughn real oh no that's the red that's the red spy. Are both spies playing. Oh they're gonna run into each other. Oh that's hilarious. Oh that's funny. Oh where are you? Oh where are you? I challenge you to knife duel. Oh no, pistol duel. Pistol duel for life. Looks like Vaughn is winning pistol duel and Ali oh, oh he took day night. That day night. That's that's really unfortunate. Scooter has an angle here. He can shoot the sentry gun. Yep, that is a sentry gun that's taking damage for sure. He's just got to time it right. He's got to time it right with the soldier, with the rockets and the heavy fire. And Car is just happy. Oh, he's going to pick it up and move it. Oh, that was probably a mistake. He probably didn't mean to do that. And now they pop through with an Uber. And oh my god, this Pyro is a hero. Oh, oh wow. And now they're going to counter pop here. That was a huge Pyro play. Uh, both, but Hexy could do the exact same thing here. Control them out. Uh, oh wow, and Wago's on the backside. Going to be able to get the clean out. Is, yeah, he definitely gets the medic. Uh, both medics go down in that engage. No, yes, it's still alive. Uh, is there any one for him to heal on? Uh, Breakfast at Epiphanies, at Epiphanies is here. And another Uber engagement can do it, but guess what? It's only 50 seconds left now, and this like action-packed game has been held out by a, a very cautious sentry gun here. They haven't dealt with it at all. Uh, they've killed it like one time with the scout, and they just not able to get anything else off of it. This is good spam by the soldier, but 
you got to be able to throw out more stick damage there. Okay, they finally get it. 30 seconds remaining. They're going to stack up now. Oh, wow, they actually have everyone up. They're getting better, better spawn advantages here. And meat advantage. Oh, nice stick trap there. Got ton tons of people. Halcron and Platea 2 are right on the backside here. But is it going to be enough? 20 seconds remaining. Halcron's got to jump on this point now. they got to, like, bleed. Medic sacks himself for it. 15 seconds remaining. 14. I was like, oh, this can't happen. But 10 seconds remaining. They could definitely do it. They could definitely do it. 10 seconds. 8 seconds. 7, 6. Wow, 6 seconds remaining. The Quacks take it. Uh, very, very close. You guys are super, super lucky. I'll be right back for the second round. All right, so if you guys weren't here for a round two, Quacks went out by six seconds uh, on their E-push there. Let's see how, yeah, good round, good round. Yeah, they are. A sad face. Juegos, not, uh, have fun. And yeah, they're all really, really close round there. It could be anyone's second round here for sure here on uh, Steel. Now, once again, we're going to have a... Uh, we're going to have our... It's raining me. They're going to be uh, defending first this time. Uh, set like a, a moderate time, like a mediocre time, really, of 11 minutes, uh, 40 seconds. Uh, unfortunately, was not quite good enough. Uh, Quacks took him out by 6 seconds. Now, they had a, a valiant defense on both the B and the C point. They didn't They didn't get a lot going on C, unfortunately. I have one unread chat message. What is it? I don't even know. don't even care right now. Anyway. Looks like we're going to have the scout and the soldier and the engineer hold here. Very, very, very standard stuff. Bevy out the corner. The medic basically halfway through spawn. The demo man could put a trap down. Oh, he has a trap in this pillar here. But I don't know. They might just come over the top and you might not see it yet. Dayknife! Gonna be the first one in the battle here. Could just go aggressively on this sniper and that's what I would do. Yep, good choice. Shoot, shoot, shoots. Nice job there. Easy pick for that sniper. And yeah, everything's starting off their way. Quack, uh, big R. Gonna be push back. Oh, get the pipe! You got a few pipes there. And the spy, again, gonna go for the pyro or something? He's just like in position for a stab if they ever show their face, so gonna be very, very, very hard for them to go for it. Unfortunately, uh, they're just they're gonna decide not to go for it on this. The spy makes the pick. Good job, Dayknife there. Getting in position like that. Uh, easy pick for them. Very textbook A cap. 40 seconds for that A cap. Definitely worth it. And look, they're gonna have like 10 seconds to just charge forward with two people down. They're gonna have just 10 seconds to get nine people in position. Dayknife has to go slowly, unfortunately, because of that Cloak and Dagger. But he did a really good job on A there. Oh, wow, Kazu will get sniped out. They're winning the sniper battle huge this time. Car not able to deal with the sentry gun, trying to shoot everything. Oh, it gets stabbed. There you go. Easy sentry gun pick. Kind of an aggressive spot, too. Nobody's popped Uber quite yet. Big R going to go for it. Oh, Demoman Pipe's coming in, and Demoman's fan coming in. they got to get out of there. Nice stab again. Wow, double Demoman stabs there. Dayknife doing huge work for his team this time. Heavy goes for it. Oh, gets thrown back with a Pyro. Uh, Pyro gonna try, he gets the spy, I guess he kind of deserved it this time. And Wag's just gonna keep this Pyro in the air, and, uh, he could definitely throw Hexy back into them, but he's not gonna, oh, Gavian, looks like we got a new medic, or he keeps just changing names, his name is Gavian now. I haven't been checking their avatars, Gavian getting out though, and, uh, Cars also getting out, which means that they're gonna get a very quick, uh, B cap here, very, very good for the Quacks right now. Quacks having basically about as good of a game as you can hope for right now, uh, not dominating, but definitely playing, outplaying their opponents. Definitely outplaying their opponents by far. Scouts on the backside here. I like this three on three engagement here. Oh, another spy play. Oh, Dayknife couldn't make it happen this time. He does not, he just pistol him down though. Great job there. Halcron could make the plays, but the spy's already gone. And they get B. 154 for B. Not not bad at all. Nice uh, little B advantage considering what people did last time. Oh, nice cheeky steal there. Halcron just can't make the plays happen. Epiphanies. One more shot and he does get it. And it looks like this engineer might be in for a load of trouble while this heavy turns the corner. Trying to... Oh, he does his sentry gun, but uh, hey, it's worth your sentry gun to get the heavy any day of the week in my book. Again, it's 9v6. Again, an uber advantage, a numbers advantage. They're going to go a long way to get there, though. Pata all the way going around. Scooter looking for the top. Oh, there's a sentry gun in the position. That is why. And uh, it's only the engineer here. Dayknife could make it happen, though. Dayknife could definitely make this happen. Come on, Dayknife. You've done so well so far. I want to see... I want to see... Uh, oh... Wait for him. Go for it! Oh, sick. Free pick. Nice job. God, I love watching spies. I like it when spies like just camp around for a little bit, and then they get the perfect time. Uh, surprisingly, they're all here at D, though. This is really, really unfortunate. Oh, they already popped. Oh, this is bad. Just rotate over to C. Uh, you're not going to get caught doing it, except by a Halcron who might be picked off here. He does get picked off, kind of dealt with the big force there. And uh, yeah, just stack up on C a little bit here. Looks like actually we're going to distract at E for a while. I think that could be enough time here. 
uh, to reset up E, and thanks to their spy, like, perfect play there. Uh, Car gonna try and reset up on the E side, already trying to set up for that E uh, play, and yeah, it should be like a three, four minute uh, cap time for C. Oh no, pipes, good pipe. You don't you don't see that very often. Good pipe. It was against the wall, but still an awesome pipe. That should go on a frag list for sure. I'm gonna sit this over. Uh, XTV top tens. That was a cool pipe. I mean, I don't care what you say. I thought it was a he got a pipe to be to begin with, and he got a second pipe off the off of that. Double pipe play. Doesn't matter where it happens. Who's on D? Spy and soldier on D. Uh, unfortunately, getting cleaned up by the cleanup crew. Day knife again gets out. Wow. Now he should know where they're coming from. He's gonna go aggressive on Ruffle Copter. He's gonna find Gavin. He finds Gavin. Oh, but the heavies and the demo, they finally react. Uh, but they got the medic. Oh, wow, look at this. Uber's going forward. They're gonna just try and block here. Big R is gonna pop forward. They're gonna get some spam down. They are not. They don't have D yet, but it's almost not even gonna matter. Oh, the spy's here. Oh, wow, runs right into the medic. Soldier's here. Yes, oh, he does get taken down by, a, by, the, by the face knives. Finally, but it's only three up right now. It's the two important. It's the two most important ones, though. The heavy sniper, or three most important ones, really. The sniper having up right now is really, really important. And yeah, they could capture this. They could cap it and make a very fast E cap. Uh, but it looks like instead they're going to have the scout go on the flank side. Halcron has says no to that. And they're going to be able to do what they did best last time. Uh, three men going to be able to set up on the DE side. And uh, they're going to be able to turtle a very long time, hopefully, for them. Because they really, really need to make up time right now. Alcon gonna go around the side. Not yep. The ESP goes off. Ooh, nice. The no scope plus the sentry gun just not enough. Not just uh, enough to get him down. Uh, Wigos gonna try and make plays. Not able to make plays. Waga, can you? Uh... Oh, he got the reflect, but it wasn't really enough to do anything. And Pata gets the sentry gun on the backside. Pata coming all the way from around. Heavy's in position too. Oh my God, this is gonna be a massacre. Spies here to give him tons of problems. Nope. Not able to get the medic, uh, unfortunately for them. Gavin doing a good job staying alive this uh, this time. He's gonna have Uber. Now the question is, can they stop the decap? I don't think they. I don't feel like they. They feel like they can't. So, I think that's fair. Halcron again, kind of a uh, run right into a sentry gun. Not really able to do much with it. And the force pop comes out on the backside. Pops on both sides here. In fact, Blue didn't have to pop here. Quacks really shouldn't have. They should have forced out a pop from this medic. Not gonna matter though. Gavin gonna die out. And the pyro, they have complete control of E right now. I just don't, I'm not sure how they can come back. Uh, they're going to be able to control down this side. Oh, another flat kill by the Wags, too. Did you get one here? No, not able to get it. Got a little bit trigger happy and uh, didn't need to even go for it. Halcron's still a health pack. Yes, going to sacrifice himself for the greater good of time, it looks like. Halcron can't seem to seal the deal, unfortunately. Oh, he gets it that time. And the soldier play is on the backside, too. So amazingly enough, they hold out. But they don't have a sentry gun or anything yet. It's really going to come down to them scrambling and getting up a gun here. Where is the engineer? Where is that engineer? This engineer's building on side. This is clever. This is going to be hard to catch out. Uh, they're going to go AD side and just push them down. Oh, man, they're not even engaging them where it's important right now. They really, really need to engage around the point uh, and just kind of push into them. Seven on nine, especially when they have advantage like this. They should just rotate. They do get the sentry gun over on this side. Uh, I think, uh, yep, this car is still alive. Gonna rotate over and build the sentry gun in the other spot this time. Building this sentry. But he's gonna have time to rebuild, so... Uh, recovery happened. I really, really thought uh, Quack was gonna end it, but... I am I was wrong. Rain and Min. Maybe we'll get back in this game. This sentry gun, doing tons, tons and tons of work. It's a hard angle. Uh, if they ever if they ever invade your territory there, uh, they're kind of in trouble. Because it'll get hit against the wall. Uh, the knockback could be really bad. Oh, man. Nice poke, nice centri nice sticky poke there, and that's going to cost them. That's going to cost them huge. Now the one thing I would do right now, uh, if I had the metal, and you might have the metal now that the, the soldier's dead, is uh, build a dispenser against the wall there. You can get the big metal, metal pack uh, and make it worth your while. Yeah, so it would be really, really nice if they had uh, some like some more health in here, so they can stage more attacks from. Quack is here, trying to control out. Quack getting, keeps getting hit by, by pipes, unfortunately. Really got to mitigate that damage a little bit more. And now they're going to go forward a bit. It's been a little bit delayed. Tort is going to be the first guy here. Going to be able to shoot out sentry guns. Uh, Dillman trying to spam over the top. Doing a decent job spamming. Oh, wow, but they know they're rotating here. Oh, Gavin. No, nice switch over to quick fix here. They know they needed plays, and they're getting plays. Raffle Coffer with a triple kill on the backside of things. Oh, man, and the heavy making uh, making huge uh, pickups too. This other heavy is going to go down. 
Oh wow, what is the what are the times? Wait, how do they lose more players? I'm so confused. I'm really confused as how they lost more players in that engagement. Tord is still alive. Uh, Sniper is here, uh, trying to get out some plays. Velocity should be able to deal with it. He does deal with it. Pads finds the finds him on the backside though, and now we have lots and lots of influence on the point here. They don't have to have a perfect hold, just merely a good hold. They gotta deal with this uh, soldier right now. Oh, nice pop. He's gonna be able to splash on the heavy too. It's gonna really really force him back. Nuego's trying his best, but he's getting good. He's getting good spam. He's delaying a really long time out. Yeah, I think he might be dead now. Tort does get the clean out kill. Hexy going down, and there you go. There's the final cap time. But it's way better than last time. Nine minutes going forward here for Quack. And yeah, uh, Min staring down the barrel. I mean, this is really, really hard. Uh, in the second round, uh, the other team did better than you did last time. And uh, yeah, very, very difficult. So mean, reigning mean, gonna have a hard time. I would say they're out of it. It's like a, a 60-40 right now. But they probably need to make some sort of crazy play happen. Some sort of e-push needs to probably go down here. Uh, let's see what uh, people are rolling out with. Looks like standard stuff. Nothing crazy in the rollout. What are you on? Pocket pistol still? Yeah. Good choice there. And yeah. Uh, this has been a pretty good steel game so far. Uh, a little bit long in the first round, but second round's been pretty awesome. Uh, I, li I really, really thought uh, Quack was just going to be able to walk over them a little bit faster. That turned out not to be the case. They uh, got stopped a few times, and it's, it's really going to keep uh, mean in this game here. Nine minutes is hard, but it's definitely not undoable for sure. And yeah, let's see uh, who makes the first pick. Oh, nice pick there on the Halcron. They really want the two times going for it. Oh, and more spam from Pata. Nice double, immediate double kill by the Pata squad. And Rafflecopter taking a shot. Gonna have to back out. Uh, just got a little bit greedy going forward there, and that was a really nice blind. It was good. Uh, I'm not sure it was a blind debt because the spy was there, but a really good uh, blind pipe for sure. Got to be able to hit those blind pipes, especially at the beginning here. And look at this. A minute's already gone by. They're already stopped on. Oh no, they're gonna get a. They all rotate over. This is nice. This is really really good. And uh, yeah, not committing to it, but it looks like they should be able to push forward. Raffle copter messes up his jump a little bit. Goes around the other side. They're not willing to take the risk of the shortcut, which I think is fair. It's a very hard shortcut to make. Doman uh, Pata going forward here. Uh, he's going to go back and spawn, pop out. Where's that sentry gun? Where's that sentry gun? Why is uh, why can't I go to him? I don't know where the sentry gun is, but he needs to be alive. There it is. And the engineer is here, butt face, alive and ready to go. Rafflecopter shooting at the top. And they got spam down. And Pock might make some Pata still here. Uh, here comes the Poppin. Poppin going down. Save it with us. Yeah, good job. Wrangler keeps it keeps it alive. Uh, Heavy could go for it. Oh, Pyro's on the backside, though. This is huge. Now, they just lost two people. Uh, they just couldn't Uber everyone in that situation, and nobody dealt with that Pyro. Good Pyro flank, for sure. Halcron almost going to go down. Oh, he gets sniped, unfortunately, here. Scooter could still make more plays going down. Scooter in a really weird spot. It's just really hard to make these shots. I really don't like him that much. Halcron going to be able to run circles around him. Oh, he barely goes down. Really thought he was going to get out of that. And unfortunately, thanks to the, the pyro flank there, they're going to be able to get this B point fairly quickly. Seven minutes remaining for three points. Very, very doable. Very, very good pickup here by, uh, by they've got random men there coming back in this game. Domain engagement immediately. One pipe on the Pata. No more pipes on anyone else. Sticky Trap's going down now. Oh, wow. Blind deaths. He gets Pata. Nice death there. Didn't spot the Sticky. Heavy trying to get out. Heavy does get out. Throws down more sticks on the corner. And that'll be a really, really uh, fast C cap. Uh, so, oh man, and Scooter also gets taken down. Really, really unfortunate there. Just wanting to throw out Jurati, and now he, they're just bleeding a lot right now. Six on nine, Ubers are ready to go. I would just Uber in here, Uber around this corner. Oh, they should be able to get the sentry gun. They do, again, more, more kills by the heavy and demo, and it's uh, it's three on nine right now. He throws sticks on the corner. Throw sticks right there, yeah, good job. And uh, gonna get Pata again. Oh, it doesn't hit the pipe, he almost got the pipe. They should be, I mean, I would just be sticking up the, the door right now if I was Rafflecopter. Uh, they're going to get D, unless something crazy happens. And they're already rotating over to E. They really, they smell blood in the water. This is a really, really good time for them. They're 20% up in Uber. They just cannot lose Gavlin here. If they lose Gavlin, things look bad. But right now there's no sentry gun up. Buttface has to go all the way around. Halcron's even still playing on the flank side. It forces uh, Buttface to not even build a sentry gun where he wants to build it. They got a sentry on the other side of things. They got a sentry gun in the corner here. They can't go on the point without getting sentry fired. 
uh, Spy can't go on here at all, and it looks like a, it's actually like an, a 5 on 8 right now. Yeah, it's a 5 on 8. They still are making huge picks on the play. Oh, Doman finds Gavlin, though. That's huge. And he gets the sentry gun, too, with the with the Spy's help. That's huge. They Those are the two people they really didn't need to lose, the sentry gun and the medic here. Heavy going to go forward, but I, you know, I think it's just not going to be... Oh, they get a double kill there, but also gets sniped out. And now they're able to trade on parity again. Uh, so that was pretty, pretty, pretty big, big play there. Uh, nice job, Demoman. Uh, nice job, Pata. He's been uh, just exceptional this game for steel level demo men, for sure. Oh, uh, he does get the, a quick clear, clear out of butt face sentry gun. That's gonna really open things up for them a lot. Heavy on the point, gonna move forward here. Yep, gonna deal with that scooter. Uh, looks like uh, Big Art. Oh, very close. Instead, they lose out uh, to the demo on the other side. Uh, pipes go over the top. Nice rolls on for them. Uh, and now we've got, yeah, he is using that pain train with those uh, laurels, with the whatever that thing is. And yeah, they're gonna, they've just got a really good time right now. Wow, there's only two people up. Wags gets taken down. Buttface is the only one up. Uh, he's not even building in, a, in like a location where he can be relevant right now. And now the domain, it's all up to the domain right now. Pata has got to make sticks happen right now, but Velocity shooting him down. All he does is doesn't even get through there. Doman is trying to deal with it, they just get an easy pick there, and I think that is going to be the response. Look, th and I think we're going to an ace match. Look at this. Look at this. Look at you guys coming back in this game. That was sick. Good job, men. See you guys for the ace match. Okay, men are back for the ace match round here. They uh, saw uh, Duck's uh, time of, five, of 940 and said, you know what's better? A time of 540. And they just wrecked face. And now they have to defend again. Oh, no, no, no. Now they, now they attack again. Hopefully they can uh, make a better time than their last time did. Uh, yeah, so long as they just push down like that again. Uh, they, just, they just did so well under pressure there. And the Quacks just bled so hard in that situation. That, yeah, they just... I think the Quacks kind of uh, quacked under pressure. <laughs> anyway, we got a sentry gun uh, going down here. This is kind of uh, the medium spot here. The aggressive spot's right here. Whoa, did I hear a bell? I don't know what that bell was about. Uh, we got a medium thing here. This is like kind of the normal spot. And this is like the conservative spot back here. You can get spammed out by soldiers and things, but it's like really far back. Um, it's very hard to spam from right here. Well, this one's like actually kind of easy. So uh, they just got to really worry about doing that spam on the on the B point. And uh, yeah, Halcron's like looking for, yeah, they find, they find sticks. They're not going to lose people to sticks this time. Pata... Trying to hold out. Getting pushed down. Halcron. Oh man, he's being aggressive here. He wants a pick. Deciding not to go for it. And uh, Dayknife uh, instead gets found out. They're going to stack up A and they're going to make uh, the classic A push happen for them. Big R. Got to catch fire. It's not going to matter. He's going to go back and get health packs. And there you go. Easy, easy A cap. They're all going to rotate over. 30 seconds for the first point. About what you'd expect. Yawn has like, it's like already wasting uh, invis though. He wasn't going to be spotted, so kind of a waste there. He's going to have to go the long way here. He's just steal that ammo pack for sure. Yep. And uh, he's got to run straight back and not to get stabbed. Everyone's going to engage really, really soon. And he could just go in right now. He gets a sniper pick. Uh, not really worth it during the uber engagement, but they do get the sentry gun. Yeah, they get the sentry gun. Oh, and the counter pop comes through. Good counter pop time. Way to milk that uber. Oh, Gavlin, you're so dead. And the pyro is here too. Immediate defense. Halcron. Halcron can make it happen. Halcron, you... Oh, no, they trades out, and uh, totally worth it, since Yes is still alive. And wow, yeah, nice trades there. Oh, never mind. Kazul, Kazul says no to that. Kazul ready to make Gavlin have uber advantage again. And Rafflecopter, wow, he's really aggressive there. He hits wa wait, he hits Wags with one pipe, but it's not enough. Gotta get those two pipes, buddy. Uh, Sniper gets cleaned out, too, but he already did his job. K. Rule, K. Rule kill Sniper. K. Rule, no, no bounds. Halcron, could rotate over, get on the point for sure. Scooter, oh, Scooter, you're so, what have you gotten yourself into? Halcron decides to back out, and Scooter actually gets picked up by Car instead. There's like a level one sentry gun, that's what I'm hearing. Oh, yeah, the replays are disabled. Oh, nice. Keeping it alive with the rescue ranger from a long range. That is what, that's what it's designed for. Gonna steal, gonna get an ammo pack real quick. Just gonna try and keep it alive while it's uh, getting killed. And he still has a level one. And it's still doing damage now. They they haven't quite given. Oh, they got sniped though. Okay, so we'll find snipe. And Gavlin. Oh wow, Gavlin gets stabbed out again. Dayknife finds the play. 
Uh, that's going to give Yes a huge advantage going forward here. They're going to hold out BC. They're going to force them to go the long way, and they're going to buy themselves lots of good time. All they have to do is sit there. No, okay, well... They had, they, they could have spent more time uh, subbing BC. Uh, yes, almost has his Uber. Uh, Pata has a nice trap, but Halkron could come over the side really soon. Oh, they all go for the low. Pata not ready for that. Uh, Big R trying to spam down the side. Uh, Scooter not in position for a good snipe at all. Oh, he could get, he could get the mean advantage here. Get Hexy. Uh, really playing with Scooter, though. Does get uh, body shotted, but Scooter has to back out, and Halkron gets uh, piped down. Good job, Pata there. Gavlin has no Uber going forward, and uh, yeah, it's six on nine. Just winning out through sheer DM alone. Buttface might even be able to go forward with a sentry gun here. And winning, uh, Kazel wins out the sniper battle. Will he be able to leverage it to anything here? Looks like uh, answers say no. Spy has been spotted. Yep, he's uh, having to play with the sniper. That's unfortunate. He does get him, though. Kazel gets taken down. Dayknife, gonna live for another day. And they're rotating over through D side, it looks like, for the most part. Rafa Copter's here, Velocity Cube is here. They're really, really stuck right now in BC. And this is working out real, real good for the Quacks. Quacks finally able to stop the bleeding. Gavlin just now going to have an Uber. And, I mean, they spent the entire time getting no progress to build this Uber. So, very good very good win here for the red team. Oh, Dana, if you really wanted it. But you find Rafa Copter instead. Uh, almost, pretty much worth it, in my opinion. They forced the pop out, too. That was just, like, they didn't deal with the spy. They forced the pop out instead. And here comes the counter pop. This is just, there's no way out. Gavlin, Gavlin, oh, piped. Oh, and a stick, too. Huge pipe play over the top. Not even going to matter if the snowman goes down. That was a huge play. Now, the medic, medic did go down, unfortunately. Yes, went, I'm not quite sure what from. There's a low on low situation. Unfortunately, the spawns aren't going to be in their favor. And Dayknife, can you make this demo man pick again? That's really unfortunate. They had such a big Uber advantage going forward there, and uh, they had a much better Uber, and they just weren't able to convert to kills very well. They're still shooting over. Nice scooter making tons of tons of shots there. Those out the even gets Gerardi on two people. That's pretty big. Gavlin totally stuck away from his team. Where's this uh, teleporter? I know there's a teleporter. Where's the teleporter? All the way up here. This is weird. This is like so long. You might as well just put it here or here. That's a. Uh, I don't like that teleporter spot at all. I, I really feel like they'd have C right now if the teleporter just got them a little bit closer. Like it has been that close so far. And it looks like, yeah, the ducks are gonna be able to hold for a minute now. Halkron's gonna make it difficult with Wags taking out like that. And uh, they're gonna get Rafflecopter too. So six on six on seven. The Demomans are still up. Demomans super important for C. He's just really good at spamming from the top. And spamming from below too. Depending on where you're coming from. Yeah, they're just taking forever. Gavlin is playing with fire right now. 75% Uber. He could get bombed. They could pop in uh, if he knows they have advantage. He's going to sit on the point and just hope his pyro buddy can hold him out here. Mixie, though, not wanting to go forward quite yet. And they have someone on the point. I think it's the demo. Yeah, that's the demo. And, uh, yeah, they have Uber advantage now. Uh, yes, choosing not to engage. And the Ducks going to just try and defend D, it looks like. 5 th uh, 36 for 3 points. Uh, a pretty decent hold, I think. Pretty decent. Definitely better than their last time, for sure. Again, more Jurati. This guy's the Jurati master. Oh, wow. Pata. Oh, it forces an Uber out. Gavlin, just a little bit late. Oh, yes, already popped in. I didn't see that. And they're going to lose, yes, easy. And, uh, yeah, the sentry gun's still here. Will he be able to buttface? Will he be able to hold it out? The spy is nowhere near here. And, uh, yeah, buttface is going to... Wow, no one's able to deal with it. There's no demo man here, and look at that D defense. It's just impossible to deal with unless you get your spy in position. You just need your spy in position. Now it's like the easiest pick in the world if your spy is in position for this sentry gun here, but they're just not. But it's not here. It's just the. That's just the long and the short of it. But face is gonna get the, all the metal in the world that he wants. How how well are we sitting on metal on this dispenser, by the way? Let's check that out. We are sitting at full 100% in metal. And the pyro here is not going to... Well, he can reflect a, a rocket all he wants to, but it's going to cost him real health, not metal health. Rafflecopter coming over the side. Yon going to get behind. Oh, wow. Scooter. Nice play there. He's going to get the pick. Easy pick there. Nice nice heads up. Pick it. Here's that, here's that uh, spy. Who's on the point? Is it the demo man? No, it's the engineer. Engineer. Oh, wow. This is really, really aggressive. There's no sentry gun here. Oh, he gets sniped, though. Scooter, not even being bothered by the sentry gun. 
And this heavy is going to have a hard time dealing with it. Oh, they finally, they do snipe it out. Yeah. So there's no engineer here to deal with it, which is unfortunate. It was a really good sentry gun spot. And if they had committed to E here, it would have been really, really hard uh, with a sentry gun in that position and no sentry gun on the defense side. Instead, they commit to D side. And it looks like we just got people running into each other. And they're going to try and get the, demo, the sentry gun here with the pyro. Yeah, this is a dead sentry gun, but I think they overextended a little bit. Yeah, they overextended just a little bit there. <laughs> Uh, fortunately, Medic gets out. Yes, I think is gone. No, Gavlin, I think is totally out. Yes, running back. Now, uh, the demo wants to run it down, but it looks like he can't. Halcron is here. They're kind of spreading a lot here. Wig is on all the way on one side. Sniper has got a good angle here, though, fortunately for them. Kazel can make a very key pick here. Oh, misses the heavy. Really close. He should just be able to see through walls like I can, and then he'd make every heavy shot. Vaughn also... Like, oh, what is this? Rafflecopter is like way behind them. This is just really strange. Oh, he just wants the he just wants to pipe down the sentry gun, and now they get out. But he's not here to fight. This is a really really big problem for them. And in fact, they get totally wrapped around on. Pata gonna be able to get the sentry gun. Oh, that was just really weird tactics. Your demo man should always be near the front of the fight. Uh, scouts here though. It looks like they're gonna be able to put pressure on D. So looks like it could have been worse. Oh wow, they've already rotated over here. And yeah, they're gonna. Everyone's coming from the wrong side right now. Uh, this is crazy. Oh, uh, Pops come from both sides here, and a little bit of a lag spike. That must have been frustrating. Uh, Wax keeps them back in the center, but uh, looks like they're going to run out of Uber just a little bit earlier uh, than the blue team is. And they do get Rafflecopter. Halcron uh, burns out here. And Heavy plays Velocity Cube. Nowhere near close enough health here, and Gavlin gets taken down. So 25% uh, advantage and counting going up uh, for Blues for Red's way here. Uh, yes, going to be able to hold that out. And so far, the defense has happened. Uh, just forcing all those rotations and uh, being able to react and like go where the go where they weren't, uh, I just felt it was like really really good for uh, for the quacks here. Corn the corn ducks have uh, definitely been playing heads up so far, and even though they engaged in completely different sides, it probably favors the de the defense. Oh, thrown in the pit. This copter is probably dead too. This copter goes in the pit. Two pit kills for the pyro. Mark one wags. Good job wags. Huge plays. And uh, yeah, that's going to stop the E push. That's going to stop the D push by. F oh, wait. Yes, gets taken down. Overextension. Yes, the hubris on you. The hubris on yes. Just going to go crazy here. It looks like the sniper trade to the engineer. This is actually. Things are going so well, and then they lost their Uber advantage. I mean, things are still going well. In fact, they're going so well that there's only five minutes left, really, for. Uh, and then to cap this, and if they don't get E, it's going to look real bad for them going forward. And Huegos. Now they're getting on the point. Huegos is in the, the nuts position right now, I like to call it. Just able to spam down every angle he wants to. I He should have stayed up there. Uh, they could just stack E right now, uh, and probably okay, because now they have to deal with Scooter. Oh, wow, and Scooter gets the, the pick, too. Gets the... Uh, going to be able to throw down some Jurati. They are just, and they don't want to stack the point too hard. Cars here, oh, they're getting, getting pushed on from the backside. Oh, look, he's, uh, he's dead. Pata coming around the backside, too. They have the AD connect. The defense has the AD connect. Oh, Gavlin. Oh, Gavlin jumped around the corner. That forces an Uber out of them. That's going to give, yes, about a 50% advantage if he can stay alive. He looks like yes is doing all right right now. Wags, again, saving the Ubers. Um, oh, but they're almost out of time here. they got to stop this influence, like, right now. They're not even here. They need to get here right now, and Rafflecopter is, like, stopping them. The soldier bomb in. Oh, he got like a triple kill here. He gets a triple kill. The scout, oh, the oh, Ubers of the last second. Yes, gets thrown. Oh, no, yes, saves on. Wow, saves, saves by the quacks. Huge, huge, huge saves. He's going to have time to set up a sentry gun. This is big. This is really, really big for the quacks here. There's still 330 remaining, and I thought it was going to be like a 10-11. It's going to be okay, but I think this is really going to seal the deal for them. I'm thinking of like a 13-14 minute time here. This is going to be huge. They got a level 3 here, too. Look at all that risk they took, and it paid off. Huge plays from uh, from Tort here. Tort, you get the camera for like like a whole life at least. I'm gonna watch you for like a life maybe too, because that was huge. He just saved his team. That heavy did not save his team. Tort, come around the backside. That was huge. Good good job, Tort. Not only did he blow the soldier off the off the point, he also got a double kill because they were a little bit too close, and they got it and gave him a triple kill. Halcron unfortunately gets the cleanup on him, but Tort, you get the camera back in the next 25 seconds when you come back. By the way, 25 seconds is forever in TF2 time. 
and they make five they make four quick picks immediately Helcron not willing to go forward quite yet but oh no and they get oh breakfast at Pithenies. wow nice plays there and the pyro getting some reflect kills on the backside too they just ubered in and wanted to take it now fortunately gavlin oh no gavlin might get run down here where is gavlin oh gavlin is oh well actually gavlin's totally okay we're gonna go back on the tort cam because he deserves it it was two lives ago still deserves it 220 remaining 160 seconds they've got to capture d or e at this point i would just cut my losses go for d say look we've had a crappy round uh we just couldn't capture d and uh our e push just failed uh so we should just go capture d buy ourselves some more time at least make the e capture possible uh and not forced out of us so i, I would go for d in this situation tort electing oh he just wants to get the sniper first fair enough this roaming strat you know he's going to tip off the engineer to his play but they don't have a teleport anymore Teleport should be a little bit more aggressive. Tort's gonna... I'm not getting the sentry gun. Oh, he does get it. Wow. And, uh, wow, Car's just, like, ditched it. And, uh... Go for the... Go for Car. Don't go for his dispenser. You can clear the dispenser later. He does get Car, too. So, just been cleaning out on the backside. Uh, definitely been playing, uh... All over on the side. Not where his team needs him to be when, he, when the Ubers come down. And they actually lose a lot of people. I feel like if Tort was there, it'd be way better for them, but... Hey, look at that. Day Knight finds a, a stab on Rafflecopter, who has been... Hey, he's been a stab magnet, like, a lot of this game so far, so... He's gonna make another pick here. Gets way goes nice. And again, they're holding. And again, they're holding. 60 seconds remaining. If they don't get D, then things look really crazy. Now, keep in mind, this is normal overtime. Uh, this is normal times. So if you have some influence on E, you do get overtime. And Day Knight, wow, Day Knight should not have made a pick there. He was like direct, he was direct hitted into everyone right there. That was crazy. Not able to escape this one. But he just went on like a 3k spree. Yeah. And Cars here, coming back up. Gavlin, being aggressive even for 60%. He's actually down by about 2 or 3 percentage points, but I don't think either team's going to be able to take advantage of it going forward here. The question is, where are the Pyros? The Pyros are huge. Soldier's here to play around in Breakfast at Epiphanies. Oh no, he's found himself in a world of hurt. Gonna get the first clean. Gonna be the first death of this engagement. Heavy going forward. They got a good. Oh wow! Forced out pop here. This is not when they wanted to pop. They even got level one here. That's not even getting dealt with. And the pyro is here. Wags. Throw him off. Oh, he throws two people off. Ten seconds remaining. Oh man. They have no influence on the point. They have to go for D. Uh, man, this engineer not able to do anything. And here they are in overtime. D's not captured. Oh man, this is this is a disaster. Uh, <laughs> right now for for make it rain for uh it's raining men it's raining men they've they've got a oh man this is almost impossible this is almost impossible for them they've got to hold uh c if they capture c they lose now they're going to give up a which means they have to hold b basically for 530 and if they don't hold b they need to have some sort of plan in place to very quickly and easily stabilize to the c point basically car has to like stay back here and pick up the sentry gun and walk it all the way over here as fast as he as he can uh, and make sure they have a good sentry gun spot at C if they lose B with any kind of haste. So they're just going to be it's a really bad spot for them. It looks like we are paused. So yeah, we lost another player. I'm going to be right back after this. All right, and we are back after the pause. Now uh, we've got 25 seconds remaining. Looks like they do have someone back, but uh, my HUD hasn't quite updated correctly. It looks like they have Anime T-Lord, a great name. Uh, He's got to be in their ace of the hole, though, man, because they have to defend. They can't lose C. They can't lose C right now, and uh, they have to stop moonwalking as well. That might be a big problem for them. Enemy T Lord, I feel like he's got to he's got to jump up. He's got to bomb the med. He's got to like force out an Uber at A, or else it's just not even it's not even possible, really. I just feel like they've got to make some crazy play going forward here. And Day Knife is the first one to go down. The play is R ago. Flags over the top. It looks like the T Lord he could make a play. Now the heavy's right there. Wags, not able to get the reflex that they want. And uh, Big R is here just to, to hold out if they need it. He, he will just back out here. And they're going to go real slow on this. They feel no pressure at all to capture A and screw it up. Enemy T-Lord, though, he's going to be able to get uh, some pusher, uh, pressure up here. And he does a quad jump around, hits a scout, and uh, has nothing left in the tank. Has to jump out of here. Uh, tried to make a play, but he's just going to get out. And Pata, going to throw down stick traps. Nope, not able to find anyone that time. Waka looking for spies, and uh, yeah, they're going to capture a real easy... Oh, Big R going to get taken out by Yawn, but he gets immediately uh, sticky-trapped. Day Knife just in the position. 
And the question is, what do you do now? Day knife, at least. Choosing to go the AB route. Kind of, yeah, it's a little early to cloak here. You gotta steal the ammo pack. No, he doesn't even steal the ammo pack. He's kind of, he's gonna leave him out in the breeze here. Yeah, he shouldn't have done that. Oh, yeah, he's on cloak and dagger, so he can technically do it. I wouldn't go for Kazul here. I would go for the demo man. As soon as he shows up a little bit here, because he's thrown down stick traps, and if you can get him, then they definitely lose a lot. Still going for plays. Gonna shoot him from below, and they pop an Uber uh, through here, unfortunately. The Spy not able to make anything happen. Uh, Big R going over the top. Oh, they nice nice uh, pyro push here. Oh, will he get the medic? He does get the medic. He might even get... Oh, the heavy's not reacting in time. Oh my god, he's gonna get the triple. He doesn't get the triple, but, I mean, his team gets the cleanup on the triple here. And it looks like we're, wow, low numbers on both sides. Uh, not sure what caught the red team off. Sniper uh, gets out the sentry gun by car, car going down. So there's no sentry gun. Basically what they need uh, happened. Uh, Velocity cube way over out of position here. Uh, gets Waga. Now he's got to get out. Oh, it's going to be hard though. Yeah, that is basically an impossible situation to get out of there. Raffle Copter going to the top. Gavlin at like a 3, like a 1% advantage going forward here. Throw over the top. Oh, throw sticks. Throw sticks can make it happen. Unfortunately, Gavin can't stay with you for them. Three minutes remaining for the last two points. So the, B, the B defense is go. The B defense has happened. Like so far, but they could do another push in. It looks like, yes, they could be building. Uh, the medics could be building with their scouts a little bit more here. Especially the especially uh, the offense here, where all they need to do is just press Uber after Uber after Uber, because they know they've got this, as so long as they go fast enough. So they don't need to rush things. They just need to they just need to make sure they have Uber advantage, and they just need to make sure they have as many Ubers as possible to play to play around. Because if you make that medic pick, uh, which they won't be able to do this time if Gavin uh, gets the pop off, then uh, things might be even things might be even Stevens for a while. Pata throwing, oh wow, Ke catches, catches them out, but yes, getting uh, picked out by Rafflecopter. Huge drop. Phenomenally huge drop right now. And this heavy's just going to walk on the point. He's just going to say, hey, you can't can't do anything about it. I'm, I'm Ubered. There's nothing there's nothing you can do here. The Engineer's going to do some good damage with the mini, but it's not going to be enough. Wow, do they lose? They lost their medic anyway, though. Gavlin, man. Both these medics, one dropping, one overextending. Both that, just and the, and the spawns are going to go in Blue's favor. If either of these medics had stayed alive, they would be dominating their game right now. But as it stands, two minute drill for C. And we have anything set up for the engineer here, over here. Nope. So we got Rafflecopter throwing down sticks on the BC side. Now they do have to wait like about like 15 seconds for this door to open. But, you know, if you're prepared, and yes has a 30% Uber advantage, he's going to have an Uber to take C here. And they get C, they win the game. That's just how it is. They have to all sit here on C. Which means they could also just rotate over to E uh, and force them out. Like they're way out of position right now. Because they have to do this like hardcore hold on C. Do I manage here? Oh wow! Got anime T Lord. Got him anyway. The reflect came through, but they got him anyway. The flanks are here. The mini is over here. Now they are getting the BC connector. This is really really good for them. Uh, oh, gotta shoot him out. And it's just really really hard if they if you don't have C to capture E. 60 seconds remaining. 70 seconds remaining. Fortunately, that's not the end of the time here for. Uh, for the quacks. They all they have to do is capture E, of course. Just one time on E and they're good to go. And Breakfast Ep Epiphany is gonna, just gonna try and like force them out of position. They could, oh, never mind. K Kzul says, no, I don't care that you need C. I'm gonna stop you at E. Kzul says, no. This demo man is way far forward here. Oh man. Does it actually get saved though? Thank you, Jesus Heavy. And again, another pause, are you kidding me? I'm gonna be right back. All right, and we're back, and I, I really don't know what all that pausing was about. It looks like they've lost another member here, uh, out here. Looks like uh, one of the blue players is gone. One of the, the quacker, the quackers are gone. Uh, it looks like it's the um, oh gosh, it's the engineer. Or at least they lost somebody, and the engineer is probably filling in for them. No, it looks like it was the actual engineer, uh, Buttface or whatever, uh, is gone. And now they've got a sentry gun here. Twelve seconds remaining for the C cap, but they're not going to get the C cap. But they could still get the E cap now. That's uh, the key point here. You could still definitely get E cap for sure. Big R. They're going to rotate over to E. I mean, it's just, this is such a weird situation that being prepared for something like this is a little difficult. All they have to do is get two points and they win. All they have to do is get C or, oh, they don't even have to get E. All they have to do is get C or D and they win. And they're so spread right now. Like, it's just, it's very obvious that they, they're not fully committed to what they want to do. Scout trades a spy. A nice flare gun there. Scooter has to back out. 
And Hexy doing pretty good work uh, on just this defense. He's gonna get this uh, spy too, so he's basically paid for himself. Oh, and the Uber comes forward very early. Uber forces him forward, but he's uh, kind of like delinked now. Can he get uh, Hexy? No, he can't get Hexy. Hexy instead gonna get yes. Yes is really really hurt. Didn't get the flare gun off on the on the medic. Is the medic gonna live? Yes is really really hurt. Oh no, he's getting thrown around. Oh, he does get cleaned out. Buy some sick plays there. Still ran through them. Six on six, they lost their medic. Uh, this could happen. Five. Now they have to hold for 5:30. I mean, it's still really, really hard. But like, if they just get on E again, like the problem is they let them rotate from B to C. If uh, Breakfast at Epiphanies would just keep poking at them instead of sitting on E. Oh, now he has to deal with the soldier who he has appropriately kept back, and the scout, the spy gets taken down. Um, they don't have to go all the way back around. All they have to do is uh, just put some pressure on on E, put some pressure on C. It looks like they're doing now. Nice shot by Kazel. My goodness, through the air. Oh, he's on the. Oh no, he's he's in the, the normal spot. Breakfast at Epiphanies. I will trade with you with my life. Anyway, T Lord. God, he's such a jumper. Pretty good jumper, but it cost him this time. Pretty darn good jumper you see in Steel. Just able to get everywhere with him. Pata could make this play. Oh, where did the sentry gun go? Car's dead. Where is the sentry gun? Oh, it's over the top here. They easy K, easy pick with the sentry gun down. Vaughn is here, and I'm watching him missing the action. Ugh, not able to get the, the spy, unfortunately. And the soldier bomb's over the top, not able to make him pop, though. And Gavlin can have his Uber again. Quack, nowhere near his Uber. What is this Uber difference for? 75% uh, Uber advantage for Gavlin. This is really, really big, actually. Just not able to, and they don't have their, they don't have their engineer. I'm not sure what they're planning. Okay, but, butt face is back in the game. Shame on you guys. Just wait for your butt face, and you know you can you can still win games if you just have all your. You can lose lots of games with uh, being down a player. You lose all the games of the world being down a player. Yes, at 60% now. But he's like, here's the other thing too. He's like way away from everyone else with this sniper. You should just go forward with Big R. Go forward with the demo man. Force out a pop here or something. Uh, it looks like they're gonna again go with the scout and the soldier. Uh, move on on anime T Lord though. Oh, tried for the play. Actually, just trades out with the soldiers. Uh, Car is here. Car can't drop a sentry gun. Nice. Breakfast that Epiphanies makes a pick there, and now they're really gonna put the, be able to put the pressure down. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. They rotate over. Now this is your chance. Just uh, oh wow, Spy gets the pick too. So they're like way up in numbers right now. Oh man. Oh, he gets the demo man as well. I I just missed it. I can't believe it. They just made two big picks there. Uh, they got a scout on E. They still got a scout on E. This is the perfect time to take C. They, they've got it for free. Why did they pop here? What was the reason to pop? This is crazy. Yes, that is a big waste of Uber. You should be ashamed of that Uber. Like, that was a really bad Uber. Like, I don't normally, like... Sometimes I should talk players, I admit, but... That was a really bad Uber. I'm not sure why you did that. There's no reason to pop here, and you could, you could go for D and win immediately afterwards. Regardless, they're still in a really good position here. Uh, still in a really good position. They just got to spend six minutes and capture D. Very, very, very doable. They have influence on E as well. Now everyone can get to E. It's going to be hard. Scout is here. Playing games with the anime T-Lord. So he's being forced to be there. Buttface really hurt. Kara. Where does he want to... Oh, man. He's building a sentry gun at E. Oh, no. This this medic gets... Oh, man. Gavlin's actually still alive. Not popped in. What balls of steel. And they should be able to pop in now. Uh, as soon as they want to. Nobody's getting hurt super bad, though. This is a uh, really... Oh, they backed out. And they rotate over D. They have both... Uh, everyone has Ubers, but it's an 8-on-7 uh, situation right now. And I think Pata could get popped in on first. Rafflecopter having to be saved. They're not even pop... Oh, well, the counter pop comes through. Pata, get moving. They're wasting Uber time. Oh, Rafflecopter very wisely backing out. Gavlin might die. Gavlin easily dies. He dies to Car's sentry gun, though. Sentry gun is doing pretty good work. The heavy might be able to take it down. He does take it down. All they have to do is capture D. All they have to do is capture D. Those the sandwich for yes. Over. Look at look at those sandwich Olympics. Oh, Wagos makes the play. Scout trying to uh, make them the other plays here, but not able to. Wagos now at the scout. Unfortunately, uh, enemy T Lord is the is the soldier. So Wagos is taking up the, the scout flak. Nice double play there. Uh, nice double kill. Still thrown along the sides here. They're just not dealing with the the sticks. And again, a triple kill there. Uh, e is almost captured means that they're totally like totally pushing in now and anime t lord takes a double kill uh but the pyro's here but the pyro gets thrown off for the heavies here for the scouts here and i think oh it's so close oh it's so close oh they're dead and there you go um quacks uh win it out uh very very good defense there on the last point and uh yeah pretty good uh pretty good series overall
Glad to see it go to the ace match. Uh, thanks for the game, Quacks. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one.